The biggest challenge that I faced when switching from the more traditional manual machining to CNC machining was just to find skilled machinists in this industry, and that's right across Canada. Robotics and this type of CNC equipment is completely new to this company. I don't think that there's any other option other than for us to use this type of technology if we all want to be players on the world platform. The robot can load a part off of the conveyor into either one of those machines. That part is fully processed, including final inspection. And then the robot unloads the part out of the machines, cleans the part and puts it on a lower conveyor so that it can be boxed and shipped to the customer. It's not restricted by any sort of industry. It's really capable of making absolutely anything. So that could be oil and gas, that could be medical, it could be defense, it could be environmental. Having the two machines and the robot is essentially like having six more workers because it's capable of, of running 24 hours, seven days a week. The people that run the robotics system, they started fresh out of college uh, with this, just the general machining trade. And they started here as apprentices uh, and then really worked their way up through the trade. And, and they're now, you know, they're our most skilled people running robotic systems. We really wanted to make sure that the equipment we were choosing was going to satisfy our needs, not just for today or for next year, but five, ten years down the road. So really researching in detail uh, all the different uh, vendors out there that can supply this type of equipment and, and really what would be best for us. This really is the future of manufacturing, I think. There's so much opportunity outside of the borders of our own province. If you're not looking ahead, and using this type of technology as a focus for your growth over the next five to 10 years, I think you're gonna get left behind.